to another episode of Marvel Card Collecting and Investing with me, Gigi My Cards. It's Saturday, 4th of December. Thought I'd do my kind of normal Saturday routine and jump on eBay, see what's been selling over the last two, three days, and uh, bring you guys along with me. Hopefully, you'll get some value uh, as to what's been selling, what prices are, etc. Um, if it does bring you value, please do hit the subscribe button notification bell all that good stuff down below comment what your thoughts are and um, yeah really appreciate all the new subscribers that joined recently welcome and uh, let's get into it i'm going to make this less than 10 minutes give you a really nice brief uh brief summary of what's been selling so 92 hollows nine card lot 104 bids hollows are popular man really popular people love them that nostalgia factor of the hollows is important psa 10 of this uh Amazing Spider-Man from the 1990 MU set, $152. That come down considerably. Very important card. I wanted to get a 10 on my PSA submission. Didn't get it. I got an 8. Um, let's not talk about that. But $152 for that. You know, imagine pairing that up with the same issue uh, comic in, in a CGC slab. Pwah, crazy. But interesting to see where that's gone. Luke Cage, Blue PMG. That's going to be less than uh, 150 I think. The SGC 10, again, same card, Amazing Spider-Man. That's going to be 100, 120, got to be around that area. And again, I don't have the prices. Uh, this is me literally jumping on with you and just kind of giving my thoughts to what's what's going on. Uh, Molten um, Refractor. <laughs> I love how they put Refractor. So this is Miles Morales Vibranium, $124.99. They're numbered out of uh, 299 More PSA 10. They put first edition, which is... Okay, not quite correct, but Baron Zemo, PSA 10, probably 200, 150 mark, maybe. Uh, Era, 1990 Hollow. Uh, Era cards are very interesting. If you can pick up cool Era cards, you know, cool serial numbered Era, Era cards in particular, they're definitely a play. I, I'm really, really interesting. Something that not, you know, naturally there's scare, scarcity on because of what they are. Very, very interesting. Um... This is a Black Diamond Infinity Stone. <laughs> and you can see there the stones there, but it's got a vision on it. Numbered out of 23. Really nice. This is super interesting. 2015 Fear Retro X Century. X Century Super Short Print. Really nice inserts from this set. They're going to go... I mean, they're flying already, but $350 for that Captain America. Beautiful. Nice sketch there of uh, Black Bolt. Rhino, 2017 PMG. It's going to be around $50 mark, so a lesser character. Um, more Black Deck Wonder Maximoff Avengers and again numbered out of 23 Black Diamond $610 for that crazy price really uh, this is cool 2017 Upper Deck Marvel Premier Die Cut Bust I, I like these I like these they're a little bit different 30, 30 set E-Pack exclusive and again things like this are very very interesting uh, you're not going to be seeing any, you know, <laughs> anything like this anytime soon. So, picking that up for 185 dollars, fair play to whoever's whoever's done that. Uh, this is cool. This isn't uh, Marvel, but this is Wonder Woman. So DC 1974 Warner Brothers National Periodical, very cool, very very cool. 51 dollars for that. 94 Marvel masterpieces, Mr. Fantastic PSA 10, 119 dollars, 100 dollars for uh, who's that? Oh, Archangel. PSA 10, nice. Nice uh, She-Hulk etch card there. Not etch card. Sketch card. Hawkeye. Can't wait for next Wednesday. I hope you're keeping up to date with Hawkeye series on Disney+. Plus. Awesome so far, in my opinion. PSA 10, Pop 7. Probably sold for 200 plus. Uh, 150 plus, sorry. Very nice. Uh, Marvel Metal Venom. There's no way that went for 499 so I'm going to skip that. <laughs> there are some that are just like, okay. Uh, same as that one pretty sure I didn't go for that but could be wrong <laughs> uh, lots more there Venom Hollow Flash these are really nice from 95 Marvel Masterpieces one to keep an eye out $119 again I don't know if these are genuine sales if they've been paid for etc but this is just purely on face value nice BGS 8.5 um, gold suspended animation card I love these that should be more money, but that's just me being uh, completely biased because I love them. But yeah, Pop 2, 8.5 BGS, very nice. Really nice comic clippings, Infinity Gauntlet Auto from 2020 Marvel Ages, Jim Starlin, number out of 10, 
$115 for that. $70 for a Geo Gambit. I don't think that's short print or anything like that, but very nice nevertheless. Black Diamond Auto, Monique Ganderton. Interesting. 2020 Marvel Masterpieces Gold Foil Scar. It's got to be hundreds, but very, very nice. A level four. I can't remember what that's out of, but uh, very scarce. Very um, hard to get in terms of tiers. Let's have a look. Private sale there. Cards for Jesse. Interesting. HGA 10 of the Spider Man. Mm, interesting to see what that actually sold for, nevertheless. 2013 Fleer Retro Deadpool. Uh, and again, I've talked about this in previous videos 2013 inserts, and most of the cards in the 2013 box are going to fly and already have. The two here are a good example uh, Black Panther. Power Blast, and then you've got the uh, 1990 Impel from 2015 there. $101 for this Sunfire PMG, number out of 10. This is very interesting. I, I want to find out who bought this. I think I might know. 2013 Marvel Greatest Battles, Gold Covers Iron Man, BGS 9.5. So I want to have a quick in, look into this. Uh, I thought, just interesting to see what subgrades were. I find that interesting. 10, 10, centre and you've got a 9. Wow, that's crazy. So, if you haven't watched my most recent episode with Collection Kings, please do. Awesome bloke. Very, very uh, clever man and has some awesome cards. But we talked a lot about Rittenhouse. Um, this is one of them. But <sighs> imagine some of the graded Rittenhouse stuff in a gold BGS uh, slab. That would be sick, wouldn't it? Yeah, awesome. $105 for this 94 flare box. Is it sealed? I don't know. It doesn't say. Uh, Scarlet Witch, 269 for a PMG numbered out of 10. Still, still don't know 2020 X-Men PMGs. I don't know where they'll go. I really don't. Again, it makes sense, but the interesting thing will be the Spider-Man set coming out, Spider-Man Metal and those PMGs. That's going to be... And even loads of the inserts. That's going to be... The more interesting fact. Uh, 2020, again, X-Men, purely periodic. Gambit, $152 for that orange. Numbered out of 56, which is very, very nice card. Very interesting. Scarlet Witch, again, numbered out of 10, went for 312. So a bit of disparity between those two. Not a huge amount, but interesting, nevertheless. Uh, Wolverine, legendary orange, which is numbered out of 20, uh, 99. Sorry, I like these. I think the 2020, I mean, most of them, to be fair, most of them more than Marvel Masterpieces. Uh, are really really nice but this numbered orange really nice $172 same story for this 2020 Marvel Masterpieces $94 for this Thor Hulk there that's a good buy that is a good buy in my opinion $94 for Hulk Thor and Thanos big characters top tier characters gold foil I love many people do in terms of artwork and how it looks uh, makes sense Stan Lee Signed trading card with uh, certificate of authentication, hundred seventy five dollars. That's interesting. Don't know what that one is, but very interesting. SGC uh, nine sixty one dollars. Nice. I mean, again, I've talked about this before. The opportunity, and I, I, I'm, this is purely my opinion. Uh, the opportunity to flip, flip your way to something bigger and build a bankroll is possible in certain Marvel cards, for example. Pretty sure whoever bought the, call it the raw car or, or if they pulled it from uh, a pack or whatever. And then the grading fee, you know, you're talking $30, $40 profit from that, you know, grading with SGC. A month or two turnaround. Not bad, eh? Wolverine 2020 high series, uh, numbered out of 100 PMG, $461. Wow. This one surprised me. I wish I bid on this myself, I have to say. This is a P uh, Platinum Portrait Storm, uh, $365. <sighs> Love that card. I wish I got it, I'll be honest with you. That is awesome. But yeah, numbered out of 25, really, really nice. Beautiful. Another STC 9 Magneto. This sold for $1,000 because I had a look at it. Uh, it's... Uh, all the plates from the 2013 X-Men Metal 
uh, not X-Men, X-Men Marvel comic cards, Fleer Retro, sorry. Uh, $1,000 for four plates, one of ones as such. That's a ridiculous price. Graded as well. I don't know if there's a need to grade plates, in my personal opinion. I don't think so, but nevertheless, interesting. Uh, really nice 96 double impact Storm of Spider-Man. Going to be around $100 mark, what they're going for recently. Gold Dagger, PNG. <laughs> That's interesting. Let's see how much... Uh, I don't think I can find out how much it is, but really nice. So this is a one on one. Nice. Again, dagger. Meh. Would I spend? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't spend that much on on a on a character. I mean, if you're a character collector, it makes sense. But yeah, that's risky in my opinion. I'm gonna skip to four because there's some big sales here. Again, more uh, Paul Bettany. Vision Diamond out of 15. This is interesting. 1990 Save Tooth, PSA 10 again, pop 20. 300 mark. Really nice looking card, actually. Lots of PSA slabs. This one, again, 2015 PMG from uh, Vision. $208 for that, which is interesting. This is a favourite card of mine. Uh, 2015 Star Lord PMG, numbered out of 50. PSA 8, 450 times. $455. I, again, I've talked about this before and then completely <laughs> biased because I love Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Star-Lord's a wicked character. I love the artwork on this card. I love Star-Lord's character. I see, you know, the kids know about Star-Lord. I don't know. I just think it makes sense to collect some Guardians of the Galaxy characters uh, in the future. And uh, in terms of investment, I think it's not a bad play in terms of the characters. This is another good one as well. She-Hulk, numbered out of 100 PMG from the 2013 set, $536. This is too cheap. Invisible Woman, PSA 10, $255. $210 for uh, Sabretooth. Again, they are numbered out of 100, these reds, so it does make sense. But graded as a PSA 8, that is not a bad grade considering. Juggernaut, 2015, PSA 9, $380. $255 for this Juggernaut. So uh, what's the difference between those two? Oh, one's an eight, one's a nine. That makes sense. So there you go. Really, really good um, You know, in terms of context where a nine and an eight is at for a particular card or character. 380 for a nine, 255 for a eight. That's interesting. Jean Grey, 2013, PSA 8, $305. Gambit, PSA 8, $470. That gives you a real good sense of... Uh, Character favourites, artwork, etc. <laughs> four hundred seventy dollars for Gambit. Two hundred two for Emma Frost, two thousand thirteen, and two thousand fifteen Apocalypse PSA eight, two hundred ninety four dollars. Wow, fifty one dollars for this Blast Furnace, sixty one dollars for Emma uh, Frost, purely periodic, which is numbered out forty six. That's a good buy, sixty one dollars, not bad at all. Two nine nine for this really nice Rutten Crystal sketch. Hmm, interesting. Nice silver sketch uh, there. Israel Artega, uh, I think I've heard of him before. 12 bids, $84. Really nice sketches. This is a cool box. 2010 Rittenhouse, 70 years. And you can, all, you know, with Rittenhouse, that's a sealed box, so it's numbered out of 8,000. So only 8,000 of boxes exist. Very cool. Another comic clipping achievement, 8 out of 10. $153 for that. Venom. Blue PMG, it's got to be around a 3,000 mark, roughly. Nice 95 flares, PSA 10s. Lots more best offers taken on these PSA 10s. Prices come down considerably for some of those. <laughs> Very interesting. I love this guy. <laughs> Love it. Love the accent as well. Marvel Masterpieces, 92 forward edge cards. Uh, so they're chase cards. $60 for those set of five. Jambalaya, Jean Grey, 9 of 30, $149. Joe Dusko, buyback, auto, 2 of 15. <laughs> mm, 399 for that. Five nine nine for the sealed box of flair ninety four, 
HTC 10 Kang, $100. This is very, this is DC, but really nice collection of uh, superheroes and villains all to wear for cards. Uh, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, beautiful woman. <laughs> and uh, nice lot of cards again, DC, but Hulk SGC 10 of 2017 uh, PNG. Did it PNG? Yeah. Very nice. 96 double impact again. $77 for this orange Captain Marvel 2018. This is a sweet sketch. Again, I'm being biased, but Storm. Uh, one on one, obviously. $76 for that. Metology, again, lots of these selling recently. 25, so the Amiga, 25 to 25. Printing plate, uh, not a plate, but a Metology plate. $120, I think that went for. Same again, Black Widow. 19 to 25 for that one. Really, really cool. Uh, tw right. This is from the Tops X Men movie 2000, I believe. Uh, so, 199 for this fam Famic Johansson. So, she played Jean Grey in that movie. Age of Ultron, Chris Hemworth, uh, Jeremy Ren uh, Renner, sorry, Relic Auto. It's going to be a thousand mark. You can see there, pack pulled. Very nice. Nice Mysterio there. Underrated character, Mysterio. Really, really cool. Lots more meat. And these are all December the 1st now. This is super sweet. Super sweet. Spider-Man Archives. Um, sketch card, Green Goblin by Andy Price. Andy Price is really well known. Uh, $191 for that. But that is incredible artwork in terms of colouring. That is 2009 uh, Spider-Man Archives as well. It's very special. Uh, Geode. Not Geode, sorry. Gold Bullion, Wolverine, $137. Uh, again, we've talked about how much that's come down. That's ridiculous. Grandiose for high series, Wolverine, $66. $102 for cable, purely periodic uh, alpha. And lots more autos you can see there. Bucky Barnes, Sebastian Stan, Chris Evans, Captain America. Um, Agent Maria Hill. Kobe Smulders, Anthony Mackey, Falcon Cap. I don't know why that isn't more, in my opinion. One bid, 700 for that. Mm, Falcon Cap, makes sense, I guess. Diamond Plate there. What if? Beautiful cards. Uh, more printing plates. These are too cheap. $200 for this uh, Vibranium. Cyan printing plate, plate. Uh, and the same again for that one. Sealed box, $289. Marvel Beginnings Series 3. Nice, nice buy that. Rittenhouse Marvel Greatest Battles, Captain America lot, nice. Marvel Gem, Lenticular, Spider Gwen, Die Cut. Yes, Jam, Gem Belaya. $200 for that. Really cool. Oh, look at that. That's a sweet sketch. Matt uh, Satorelli, 2015 Fleer. Retro Spider Gwen. Very nice. Uh, so that covers the last kind of three days uh, of, you know, go. This is just eBay. Doesn't cover commercy sales and things like that. But hopefully it gives it some, gives you some value. As always, I will stay close to what's happening on the auctions side. And. Um, I'll let you know. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. And have a fantastic weekend, whatever you may do.